Aloha stampers. Um, welcome to the September card layout class. I'm going to show you how to put one of the cards together and then you'll be able to do all three. Um, I'm Cheryl Hamilton and this is one of my favorite classes. I really like it because um, you get a binder full of um, card layouts so that when you're stuck at home, you can go straight to the layouts. The measurements are already there. Pick one and make your own cards at home without you know, measuring wrong and throwing a bunch of stuff away. And here's, here's the September one. You can see you get a page protector along with the layout that I've made. And then what I do is um, put either the cards or a Xerox copy of the card behind this, you know, inside so that you kind of have something to look at when you're going back to this. So you can see this card layout is going to have three long strips and then something in the middle. So that's basically what it is. And I'll show you what we're doing. The first card in class is um, an iris. It's really pretty and um, this is two-step stamping where at first I stamped an outline in Smoky Slate and then I stamped the irises in um, Highland Heather and this one I really liked in Granny Apple Green. So it's just you stamp an outline and then try to stamp right over it. Um, here's the stamp set I used called Inspiring Iris. And what does it have? One of the, it's really fun because of the two step. You can see how you do the outlines and then you fill them in. And the other thing I like is the sentiments. Um, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. There's a, you are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody, which is kind of cute. Wishing you the best, thanks. So I like that one. And here's the number on it, 149268, in case you wanted to get that. Card number two. Card number two is so cute. I like it. So it's a it's a Halloween card. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I really like that. And again, this is using um, some designer series paper that's a Halloween come called Magic in This Night. And I then I stamped the witch in Flight of Fancy. Now this is fun for um, for any kind of coloring. And here's the witch. You can also see I have a cute little angel here that I haven't used yet and also Valentine's. So um, I do have some options in class if people don't really want the Halloween card where they can make a Valentine one. And I also use this paper, but it's a more of a black and white with um, like roses on it. It'll be really neat. Um, and look at these little Look at my little blings. Can you guys see them? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to make it focus, but um, but they look really neat, and they are called iridescent pearls. There they are. You can see them better there. So those are fun. What else did I do in this card? Oh, on the inside, I used a um, a different set. That, that does corners. That's kind of fun to have. It's called Festive Corners, and it's got um, for different seasons. You know, so it's got the Halloween and Christmas Valentines. I don't know if it has anything else, but it's pretty fun to put just around the corners. I don't know what, oh, I know what I did with this one. I just used this for the sentiment for the, um, to a frightfully good friend. And um, it's a Halloween one, but it's real cute. It's called Ghoulish Goodies. Okay, last card is one I'm gonna do the um, demonstration on today. It's um, a poinsettia card. And again, it's got the three panels made with the poinsettia D DSP. And um, I didn't even use the poinsettia stamp for this, I just, 
cut out the petals and they're they have some embossing in them. You need the, the stamping cut and emboss machine for this. And um, I've made a white one because I couldn't decide. And I, I'll teach you how to color it on the video. And you can see it's got like some soft sea foam. I did a little water coloring and there's sparkle in there that you might not be able to see. No, I don't think you can. Um, and then on the inside, oh, I didn't do it on this one, but I, I'll show you on the video, I used this set just to make an inside with a sentiment. So thanks for watching and um, yeah, I'll get started now. So to make my poinsettia card, I'm starting by looking at the card layout and I need three long panels here. So I'm starting with real red cardstock and the longest one is five inches by one and a quarter. And then the two on the side are gonna be four and a half inches by one and a quarter. The designer series paper is the poinsettia one. And I have cut these, so they're just a little bit smaller. They are, the long one is four and seven eighths by one and an eighth. And these two are four and an eighth by one and an eighth. So I'm just gonna glue them together. So I've got them all done. And my card base I'm using is the Thick Berry Vanilla. I cut it at eight and a half by four and a quarter and then I scored it down the middle at five and a quarter. And one thing I learned, I was, I thought that I should probably start with the middle one and then go on each side, but I learned that I'm not very good at choosing what the middle is. <laughs> so here's what I'd advise you to do is to start on the sides and get it about an eighth inch from the side. Make sure it's as straight as you can get it and then do the other side. Okay, and then you can put this and center it so that it'll look good. Okay, I love this layout. It's really, um, you could, it's a great way to use up your scraps of Design Series paper. And so I've cut out a couple of poinsettias. I didn't even do the stamp said I just cut them out and you can see the um, little marks there in the middle it's really pretty and I'm gonna use my bone folder and the bottom one I'm just gonna take and hold on here because you don't want to pull it off but just gently curve it can you see that I'm just doing it just a little bit Okay, so that's a that's curved. That's going to be the bottom. The top one I'm going to curve up. Now, if these are sent in an envelope, they'll be smushed by the time the person gets them, but um, they're easy to undo. They're not going to be bent. They'll just be smashed down flat, and they'll pop up a little bit. I use a glue dot. So just one. Grab the glue dot by pushing the poinsettia down on there, and there you can see it grabbed it. And I'm gonna do it so that it's right in, right in between where the other ones are. See, so just like that. I'm gonna put a glued on on the, I mean a dimensional on the back. I think I'll put two, just because this is an important flower. It's so pretty. Okay. Um, I'm just putting it in the middle. There you go. And I've cut these out. These are also from the poinsettia dies. And they're really pretty. These are gold foil. And I just really like this, um, this cut. Isn't this neat? So to put them on... I am adding a drop of 
Tombow on the end. This stuff, when it dries, it's really, really good. I mean, it, it's gonna stay, but it just, you know, it takes us just a minute to make it dry, to think where I want it, that's good. And then one more. There you go. Isn't that pretty? I'm almost done. I need some sparkle in the middle and I'm using these gilded gilded gems is what they're called. And you just grab them using your take your pick tool and I'm just going to put three of them on here. Okay, so there's my finished card, and it's so pretty. And the inside, this one I had done before, but kind of messed up. So I'm probably going to cut something out. Um, I did this background stamp. It's from, what's it called? It's poinsettia petals. I thought, oh, that'd be nice to use, because then I can decorate the envelope and, and the inside. So I just used this image in soft sea foam. And it made a nice background. And then I used Real Red for May Magic and Wonder Bloom This Holiday. And the trouble is it didn't really, um, you know, it didn't stamp really well. I needed to re-ink it. So to fix this um, place where I kind of messed up the stamping, I just cut a very vanilla stitch shapes circle. And because it fits right over it. And... Okay, this one's soft sea foam. There you go. And then I've got real red that I've put some ink on and hopefully it'll work. Well, let's see which way I like it. I don't know. There's really not a right or wrong way. Okay, when you press it down, let it soak there for about three seconds or something. That's a lot better. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it right over there. And it, lots of times when you make a mistake or you do something and you're just not happy with it, when you fix it, um, your card turns out a little bit better than when you started. So I love that. Let me try to get it straight. Okay, so that's good. Always get this red ink pad out of there. Boy, I've seen so many times when my card has just fallen into it. And um, I think they have magnets in the real red or something because it always does that. Okay, so isn't that a great card? So don't forget to stamp your um your envelopes and i'm going to come back and show you how to um, decorate the white poinsettia just an idea for you i've cut out two flowers using very vanilla and i'm going to make them um a little bit greenish using soft sea foam and um, I also think these would be great with pink because you've seen pink poinsettias around and those are so pretty. But this time, I'm going to start with this. Now, have you guys seen this in the catalog? It's called Champagne Mist. And I don't have the item number on here, but um, Champagne Mist. I must have had this for three years and um, it's just... It's all sparkly, and yeah, I'm finally almost out of it. But what I did with it is I found a bottle at a drugstore and filled it part way, most of the way with alcohol, just rubbing alcohol, and added a capful of champagne mist to shake it up. And then um, look what happens when we spray it on stuff. You're gonna really love this with your Christmas cards. I'm not sure how much you can see, but 
I wish you could see it. It's sparkling. I don't think you can see anything. Darn, it's really pretty and it sparkles. And um, so what I'm doing for these, I just decided to paint them a little bit. I'm just putting some of this alcohol, sparkly alcohol on a block. And I'm going to add a few drops of my soft sea foams. If you don't have the re-inkers, you could definitely dip your block in the um, ink pad and get some of the ink on here. You know, so you can do that. These are new, they're called water painters, and they're just like the aqua painter, except a little bit better. These come with three in a set, and I they have a fine point, medium, and a real large brush. So I'm gonna use the medium. Um, here it is here. You fill them with water, and how do they go? See how it unscrews just right there? And um, you just put water inside, and that's it, and you can use them forever, a long, long, long time, years. So I'm just dipping it to get a little bit of green. I wanna see how, how much, you start with a little bit because if you use a lot, you can't take it back. But I'm just, I like to keep it fairly um, wet too. And I like it to look an, uneven, that's just me. I, I feel like it makes it look really artsy. if you guys can see this you just can't really see the sparkle and it's totally there but it's pretty and um, I'll do the other one and you want to wait for it to dry a little bit okay I'm pretty happy and if you want to you could spray more it doesn't really need it but you know, you can spray more glitter on it. And then you want to set it aside for five minutes or something, let it dry so that I can use my bone folder on it again. Oh, you know, I'm going to try something that I haven't tried yet. See how it works. Um, I'm going to see if I can flick any of this. I don't know. I haven't tried this, so I'm not sure how it'll work. But I, I've just got a little bit of the champagne mist left in here. I'm going to use my fine point one. Again, I'm not sure which one is better to use, but um, I'm just, see how I'm doing it on my, that's not working that great. That's not either. It got all over my finger though. Maybe the, there it's, there's got to be a way to do this that isn't such a mess. And I will practice and let you guys know in a class because my finger is getting all beautiful. But I'm trying to make some sparkles on there like that. Where's the camera? Here it is. So um, I'm going to let it dry and come right back. So these are pretty dry now. I'm going to go ahead and put them together. Curl them the first one down and then this one I'll curl up grab a glue dot Okay, that's pretty. And I decided to make, because I wanted to see what would happen if I put both of these together. So um, I decorated one of these mini pizza boxes. And let me see how this is gonna work. So here's the red one I did. And if I put this one, stick it on there too. I'm gonna use two glue, glue dots just to get it really secure. I don't know, I just want it to be in the middle.
that's pretty neat okay i don't it's really big so dimensionals here they are okay let me get a couple of these I'm gonna stick it over here on the side and I made a um, this is from the same thing poinsettia petals and warm wishes from our home to yours so I've got to put some fudge or something good in there it's kind of a perfect size for putting like eight pieces of fudge inside there and definitely needs one of these um, beaded pearls just to show you a different I put these on with a glue dot I would not use Tombow the dimensionals are going to make them stick up too far oh I think that's so pretty let's do let's stick a few of these on um, this time I cut them out of silver foil instead of gold and the silver goes with that. I don't know. It's you can't go wrong. And where do I want this? Let me think. Right there, yeah. Isn't that pretty? And then you give this card along with it. It's really nice. Um, so on the inside, these are food safe. But I might put a piece of um, DSP if you weren't doing, you know, if you wanted to in the bottom or actually it'd be kind of pretty up here if there's fudge down there. You do that. That's a good plan. Isn't that fun when they all coordinate together? I mean, there's so many things where the papers and stamps and all these colors just go so nicely together. Okay, I hope I haven't left anything out. Thank you so much for um, joining me with this card layout class. And I hope you guys have lots of fun putting them together. Okay, aloha.